Okay guys, we are here at a park. Um, my dad is surprising me with this park. Do not know where it is. Uh, maybe we're at Six Flags Great Adventure or like Hershey Park. Honestly, like where are we? Six Flags America. Okay. No, I'm kidding guys, I dragged us here. Um, anyways, we are here at Six Flags America. Neither of us have been here before. Um, it should be interesting. Uh, we're going to try to get on all of the rides, of course. I have my glasses so that I can film on some of the rides. And yeah, let's head in. Okay, I don't want to jinx it, but so far, this park looks pretty nice. I might get a little bit farther in and be like, oh wait, no. But like so far, I mean, look at this. This is all right. Uh, it doesn't look too crowded. So theoretically, we'll be able to get everything in. We only have four hours here. Okay, yeah, honestly, it looks pretty all right. I mean, the coasters aren't great, but the atmosphere, of the park does not seem bad quite yet. I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty, so from looking at the app map, we can either go that way, which will take us towards Mind Eraser, or we can go that way, which will take us towards Rage and Cajun. Um, I wanna go that way because I don't want Mind Eraser to be our first ride, or Roar, which is right there. We can see it right through the trees there. Uh, so we're gonna go over here towards Rage and Cajun, make basically just a giant circle to get back down, and Mind Eraser probably will be last. Here you go. Of course, just like all the Six Flags parks, there are social distancing markers on the ground, but we don't really need one because there's only a couple people in line. Oh my god, ow. Well, I'm assuming that that may be something that a lot of people refer to when they say that this park just doesn't have good operations. Because literally we got in a train and the restraint apparently wasn't like it was locked, but the system didn't recognize it as locked. I don't know, it was just a whole weird thing. Uh, I think we're going to Wild One, which is just over here. But uh, that was that was weird. I don't know what happened. They were like trying to push the trains in the station, which is something that you normally only see at like carnivals that are not as well regulated. It's not, uh, that that was not, yeah, that was weird. Oh, established in uh, 1917. Here you go, the Blamo. Oh yeah, let's do it. Well, hopefully this isn't more than like five minutes. It doesn't look bad. Here we are though. They're sending out trains relatively quickly, so that's good. Gotta get second to back, not completely back, because we want airtime, but we don't want our heads to get ripped off. So, there you go. She has her phone out. Okay, uh, all right, next coaster. Let's get off of this. Yeah, it was all right, but probably other coasters are better, you know? Okay, seriously though, for a coaster that's named the wild one, it really doesn't do much. Um, it wasn't painful, but it just wasn't fun. 
and here's a dead end for some reason. Oh, we can go that way through this tiny skinny path. Okay, um, Six Flags America. But anyways, uh, it really just didn't do much. It didn't, it didn't really hurt. Some of the laterals, like, um, I was kind of stapled, so when the laterals hit, my body wanted to go this way, and, um, and my right leg paid for that with the restraint. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad. The roughness wasn't bad. It just didn't do much. So definitely not something that we're gonna come back to get re-rides on or anything. Um, but we are going over. There it goes. We are going over to, I don't even know, whatever's next. Uh, there's just this random skinny pathway for some reason. So, okay, Six Flags. All right, here we are. I believe that this is supposed to be themed to Gotham City, yeah. Look at that. Uh, okay, didn't really do a very good job. But um, anyways, we have some rides here. Harley Quinn, we might do that if we have time. Um, but the main thing that we're gonna do here is Joker's drinks over here, and then that big beauty behind it, Superman Ride of Steel. And it's temporarily closed. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. What? Okay, what? What? Look at this dude. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. That looks so derpy. I don't even... Who I, uh, I'm not even gonna say anything. That's just... I don't know what that was, but okay. Well, since that is closed, I think we're just going to go ride Superman and then maybe Batwing will be after. Good news, your Six Flags app can now be used for mobile food order. Oh, no way. Such good news. Oh, look. Starflyer. Remember like me 30 minutes ago when I said this? Okay, I don't want to jinx it, but so far, this park looks pretty nice. This park this looks, looks pretty look nice. nice. This park, this park looks, looks pretty, pretty nice. nice. Yeah, I, I jinxed myself. This is not a good park, but that's okay. We're gonna go on their flagship attraction, which of course is a clone. So let's do it. Guys, I didn't want to play this, but I'm gonna have to, unfortunately. What did I Oh? Okay. Well, there you go. Hello. Sir, I'm trying to film for YouTube here. Can you please be respectful? Also, did they just put a whole bunch of train carriages on the back of a tractor? Because that is literally exactly what it looks like. I honestly think that this park sort of exceeded my expectations because I expected it to be so terrible and it's only kind of terrible, you know? So there you go. Kinda, it did definitely slam my legs into this yeah. more than I wanted. You can see the restraints there. Hello, these suck. Um, but wasn't as much airtime as I was I would have liked. But it's all right. It's a good ride. That ride was okay. I think I had higher expectations. Um, I definitely thought that the restraints would be a lot better than they were. Um, they had terrible shin guards, which really dug into your legs. Um, I honestly would say that the restraints on Superman the Ride at Six Flags New England were better, which I know is an unpopular opinion. We're going to go over and check out Batwing um, because there's a chance that it's open. Um, I honestly don't know. Like, it honestly might be open, but also might not be. 
it really could go either way. Here we go. It's going around the layout. And there's people on it. We chillin' boys. Let's go. It really is in just like a its own secluded area of the park. Like kind of off the beaten path. And that's most likely why it doesn't really have any sort of line. And also why they're running one train. And it still doesn't have a line even though obviously there are terrible operations on this thing because it's a flying Dutchman. Right here. Here we go. Let's do this. Honestly, best ride of the day. Um, it was just, it was just so much more fun. I wasn't in pain during any of it. Um, Raging Cajun threw you around, kind of painful. Wild one, my right leg squished up against the restraint, kind of painful. Um, Superman the ride, the restraints um, were super tight on your shins super painful and then this was just not painful <laughs> that i mean it was intense yeah it was you know it had a pretty all right layout but like i honestly think that the main reason why i like it is because it was like the only ride that we've ridden so far that didn't put you in any sort of pain so that's good so to be completely honest is this park bad no it's, it's not a bad park. The issue with it is not the atmosphere. It's not the theming. I wasn't expecting much of that going in. And I was pleasantly surprised to see that it doesn't look as bad as something like Six Flags Over Texas, in my opinion. The, the issue is that the rides just aren't memorable, you know? Like there's just no memorable ride here where you get off and you're like, wow, that was in my top 20 even, you know, top 30 even probably. Um, I mean, of course we have yet to ride four, or sorry, five out of the nine coasters that they have. But I mean, there's just nothing super memorable here. And that's why I think it gets so much hate. Damn, I'm thick. Little fat. Oh, uh, come here, get fat. So in terms of Joker's drinks, I mean, obviously it felt very similar to Poltergeist, which we have back at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Um, so wasn't anything new, uh, but I would say that that was just a tiny bit smoother, I found. So if anyone um, was complaining about Poltergeist being like rough, first of all, it isn't. Okay, Tyler, it isn't. Secondly, Come here to Six Flags America and ride this. It's a lot, it's a lot less uh, rattly, I guess you could say. Um, but anyways, oh, there it goes, wild one. But anyways, we are over here at Firebird. Oh yes, I honestly think that this might be the best in the park, but maybe I have too high expectations, I don't know. We'll see. giant rock for some reason. Why is, oh, it's a skull. Ooh, I love that. Oh yes. The wonderful theming of the metal boxes. <laughs> So we are eating now, but we just rode Firebird. Um, I didn't have the best time. Um, I tried to keep my head forward and I got a lot of head banging and it hurt really bad. 
My dad did the opposite. He pressed his head back and he said that he did not get as much head banging. Uh, maybe like, like one side to side or something. Um, so I don't think we're gonna have time to ride it again, but if we do, then I'll probably try that. But it's already like 6.20 and it closes at seven. So we're pretty much just going to get um, get the two credits that we have, uh, which is Roar and Mind Eraser and pretty much head out. Um, I actually forgot about the fire. I knew about that beforehand, but I forgot about it. Um, so that was kind of a nice sort of surprise. Yeah, we're just gonna eat, head over to Roar, which is right behind us, and then Mind Eraser, which will be interesting. <laughs> Rawr. Unfortunately, second to back is not an option. So I guess we're going back then. I don't know how this is gonna be. Oh yes. I mean, it's not bad. Not bad. It's, it's not, not bad. bad. It's not bad, but it would be. Standout. But it would be such a standout ride if they RMC'd this. Yep. I mean, like I said, they RMC'd the other Roar, and it's not considered to be one of the best RMCs, but it's an RMC, you know. Okay. I mean, is it a bad ride? No. I would say it's probably two or three at the park. Um, I would say Batwing, and then either this or Joker's Jinx, and then whichever one isn't number two is number three. Um, but my dad and I were, ta uh, what my dad and I were talking about is that this would just be such a good candidate for the RMC treatment. Um, I think that they could RMC this, turn it into a nice standout co coaster for the park. The main thing that this park is missing is not a good atmosphere. It doesn't feel, it feels like a Six Flags park, but it's not dirty, it's not, you know, it's not not well kept or anything like that. Um, the operations are not the best, but they're not terrible. Um, I think really what this park is really lacking is just a nice standout coaster. And if they RMC'd that ride, they would have that nice standout coaster. And I think that this park would turn into from a park that everyone hates on to a park that everyone wants to visit whenever they go to King's Dominion or Busch Gardens Williamsburg or even um, up north at Hershey Park. So anyways, um, but yeah, we're going to go over to Mind Eraser, which, eh, that, yeah, um, so let's do it. You see? Like, it's not a bad atmosphere. They have some theming. I honestly think that this park looks, I'm gonna say that it looks just a little bit better than Six Flags Over Texas. You would agree? I would agree. Yeah. I think it's mainly in the pathways because Six Flags Over Texas just has asphalt and I don't think it looks as good as this kind of more concrete path because it's a lot lighter. But yeah, I mean, look. You know, some buildings and stuff. It's not an ugly park. It's just missing a standout coaster. Oh God. Okay. We just got off of Mind Eraser and it's already seven o'clock, so we're heading out. In terms of Mind Eraser, um, I was able to squeeze my whole entire body, push my shoulders up so that they pressed against the restraints, um, and basically squeezed my abs, pushed my head back against the seat back as far as possible. 
And when I did that, I only, I banked my head a little bit on those, um, I think it was like a little double barrel roll type of thing. Um, there were three of them? Okay. I, I hit my head a little bit on the triple barrel roll. Um, but other than that, it was a pretty all right ride. But the reason why I cannot, um, the reason why I'm not going to rank it very high. A lot of people, of course, they're like, oh yeah, you know, if it's more intense, then it's better. Or if it's a more well-rounded ride, then it's better. For me, I just rank coasters on how much fun I had the, on them. For example, people say uh, Millennium Force is my favorite ride at Cedar Point, but it's not the best. That doesn't make any sense to me. I feel like your favorite should be your personal best makes sense but um, the only exception that I have to that rule is I do not think that any roller coaster should be uncomfortable for the average rider so for example if I was not squeezing my whole entire body on mind eraser then I know I would not have had a good time I know that I would have hit my head same thing on Raptor um, at Cedar Point it's a really big headbanger I know I can keep my head forward on it but I just know that like rides shouldn't, they should, they should be designed in a way um, where they, you shouldn't hit your head in the first place. So that's why I can't like rank Mind Eraser very high. Even though my ride experience was okay, I know that it would hit, I would hit my head if I didn't squeeze my whole body, if that makes sense. Um, anyways, my dad really liked it though. <laughs> he, he says it's the number one here, which, Okay, um, but uh, anyways, I'm going to do an outro once we're out of the park because it is seven, which means that the park is closed um, and we are heading out. Uh, in terms of our day there, I really just think that they could do three things better. Number one, give them a standout coaster. One of the ways that they could do that is to RMC Roar. I think that it is um, it has really good RMC potential. They RMC'd Roar at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. And if they did that here at Six Flags America, that would be great. Number two, give the um, coaster queue lines a lot more shade because we were standing in the sun for a lot of it. Um, and it would just be a lot more, I guess, enjoyable to wait in the lines. Um, if there was shade there. And number three, give them a little bit of a better, um, I guess, maintenance schedule in terms of um, a lot of the rides were only running one train because the other train was being maintenanced. It would be great if they could get a better maintenance schedule in order to be able to run both trains um, during the day, um, especially during more crowded days. For example, today is a Saturday in the middle of summer. Like, they should be running two trains on pretty much everything but um anyways other than that it's a good park i don't know why people hate on the atmosphere or the theming it feels like a six flags park yes but that's not necessarily a bad thing i honestly prefer this atmosphere to the atmosphere of something like six flags over texas which i feel like is a lot more like dirty and run down of a park than this is for me um and there were some spots of pretty all right theming so Atmosphere was great, food pretty average, didn't have any complaints there. Um, just give them a standout roller coaster, add more shade and a better operations, um, better operations in general, and you'll have a really good park. But anyways, for our day here at Six Flags America, that's going to be it. So thank you guys so much for watching and hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the thumbs up button and I will see you guys all next time. Peace out.